A year ago exactly, sitting on the same bench, I was coming up with ideas for videos. After a series of random events, an idea came to my mind. What if you leave food from McDonald's without storage conditions? Indeed, many people believe that it's not food at all, and McDonald's will not go bad. So, we thought a little about what exactly we need to buy, made our own menu at McDonald's and headed for it. Back then, a full quarantine and lockdown started, and all spots were closed. The only option was McDonald's, McDrive to be specific. So the queues were huge. We had been waiting for about 15 minutes, before we were able to drive up to the order counter. We pulled up and started ordering. Our goal was to get as many options from the menu as possible, even two portions of some. And the order turned to be enormous, the most expensive bill in my life achieved. On the way, we realized that the ice cream definitely wouldn't get anywhere, so we decided to save its life. Well, the experiment could be considered started, and after an hour drive to the studio, nothing happened to the food. On arrival, we decided to unpack everything that was in the bags, and just look how many napkins they gave to us. Already at this point, the food has cooled down, and for example french fries have lost its taste, but nevertheless it was very difficult to shoot all this. We took a photo of each purchased dish in its original state, so we will know exactly what burgers, nuggets and other dishes looked like before the start of experiment. And then we put each dish on its own container, glued a label on top and signed the date when it was all packed. We collected all the trays, put them on a shelf in a closet and put the camera on a time lapse for the first week. To be honest, almost nothing happened this week, so we decided that the food didn't seem to deteriorate noticeably, finally packed it up and put in the closet. And the other half of the food we put in the freezer, there in theory nothing will definitely go bad, but because of the frost it can lose its taste, in general there will be something to compare. Well, it's time to forget about food for a whole year. When we realized that the year had already flown by, we were even a little late and kept the food locked for a few extra days. But we didn't look at what happened to it all year and therefore we won't show you straight away. Let's start with french fries. The look has not changed much, but by touch the potatoes become very dry. It is not surprising, all the moisture has evaporated. Almost the same thing happened to potato dips, they just hardened very much. Nuggets and camembert cheese are next, they are also well preserved, but only visually. Ah! Oh, Since the smell wasn't the most pleasant, we decided to wear gloves and professional protective gear. Way better! Having cut the nuggets, we found that for some reason there was no meat inside. Who stole our meat from nuggets? But camembert cheese was found in camembert cheese, and it was the reason for such a wild smell. <laughs> the nuggets didn't smell of anything, either way they are definitely not edible. And now let's move on to sweet stuff, here we have a poppy pie and a donut. We give a pin to the cameraman and try it by touch, the donut has become fluffy, which is unlikely to make it more appetizing. And if you cut the donut, inside it doesn't even look so bad. It just got moldy on top, but it's not so critical. Can I smell this? No, you will die. Exactly the same thing happened to the pie. In general, we can say that the desserts didn't suffer much. Ok, let's start the fun part. A hamburger and a cheeseburger have been lying side by side this year, and they look good at first glance although they are as hard as potatoes. The meat is dry, but here it is. Nobody stole it like from nuggets. We examined our burgers and didn't notice anything critical in them. They just dried out and are covered with a little mold on top, which is basically normal. It is clear that you can't eat it, 
but the burgers didn't rot and remained visually intact, just like another bigger burger. This one seemed to be with pork. Here is exactly the same burger, only with a chicken cutlet. And something creepy happened to it. Despite the fact that the burger is the same and packaged is the same way, for some reason this one is completely rotted. And for another 10 minutes it was impossible to breathe at home. Believe me, this smells is incomparable to anything. The same scene happened to Big Mac. We no longer open it, cause you see its condition, even through the container. And we didn't want to smell it for a second time. In general, the impressions are mixed. Some food was preserved almost in its original form, and some rotted completely. Why this happened we still don't understand, maybe you can write in the comments. In the meantime, we labeled all the food on its condition and closed it back. But what about those products in the freezer? We took out the fries and the cheeseburger and put them in the oven to defrost. After that, we put the potatoes and cheeseburger that we bought today on the table and we'll compare. Potatoes are bad, like dried grass. But this one is fresh. Ah! It really tastes almost the same. Since the food has already cooled down, it has particularly no taste. And the food that has lain for a year in the freezer is no different. And yet, we added a few other dishes to our food, but the main competitor is already KFC. But we'll talk about this in the same video next year. Bye!